gender played such a major factor in the way that American art was, was figured during this time because the artists who wanted to motivate people to go to war, to, first there was the question of should America get into the war or not? Should they intervene or stay neutral? And then once they were in, how do you keep that morale up? Understood that playing upon people's gender identities and gender anxieties was so essential that you had to make women f feel like it was the proper thing for a mother to do to want her son to go to war. There was a famous pacifist song came out, I think, in 1915, that said, I didn't raise my boy to be a soldier. You know, that's not what I raised him for. And then that was countered with songs like, I didn't raise my boy to be a coward. And there was back and forth about what's a mother's role and what should a mother do or what should a wife or a girlfriend do, a sister. And so the art of the period, the propaganda art, plays on proper images of femininity. Women are endangered by these barbarians from abroad who might swoop over to America and violate our virginal women, our beautiful women. So there's a whole lot of fear-mongering about the attack that would happen on women. And at the same time, there are all these issues about men, if they didn't display the proper enthusiasm for war, they were seen as sissies or cowards or gay or effete. And one of the greatest posters of the war shows a man inside a dark room, looking out the window, resplendent sunlight, all these soldiers, these doughboys are marching off to war. There's a billowing flag. It's radiant and golden outside. And he is cowering inside, not part of the parade. The big parade is passing him by. And the caption says, on which side of the window are you? And it's so much about having this sort of blistering anxiety that you are not a proper man unless you join the army. And women would feel the same way, that my boyfriend is not, he's a coward unless he joins up. So the, the image makers understood how powerfully gender anxiety can motivate people. And many of these people then went on to careers in Madison Avenue, understanding that if you can get men to go off and fight, face bullets abroad, you can get them to buy automobiles and toothpaste and deodorant at home.